द नेक्स्ट मेजर एजेंसी एजेंसी फंक्शन परफॉर्म्ड बाय बैंक इस नाच नेशनल ऑटोमेटेड क्लेरिंग हाउस फंक्शंस व्हिच आर ब्रॉडली डिवाइडेड इनटू नाच डेबिट एंड नाच क्रेडिट दिस नाच पास इयरलीयर कॉल्ड एस ईसीएस डेबिट एंड ईसीएस क्रेडिट Electronic Clearing Service Debit and Credit which has been now rebundled, reshaped and refined as Notch Debit and Credit and it has been given to National Payment Corporation for Management. This Notch is run by National Payment Corporation. Now what is this Notch and what is this used for? Let us again understand through a real life example. This, uh, for example, now let us take the case of telephone bills. I am having my telephone with the B, I am having a landline with the BSNL. Now every month I have to pay, make a remittance of something around 1200 rupees, 1300 rupees. The bill amount may vary. But this is a monthly occurrence. Every month I have to do it. Normally what I do, I will have to either remit the money to BSNL or I will have to go to BSNL, stand in queue, deposit the check in their deposit box and then come and this is a monthly ritual and by any chance if I on a particular date, I don't remit on the date then uh, and I forget it, then BSNL authorities may cut my telephone. So in such cases where I have to make regular small value but important payments I can use notch debit what I can do is I can take one authority form under notch in which I will authorize my bank let us say my bank is Indian bank I will authorize Indian bank to debit this monthly bills received from BSNL every month the bill will differ each month because depending upon the actual usage so I will give a blanket mandate and authority to my bank which is Indian bank to pay the monthly bills of BSNL on account of my telephone number so and so so and so this authority I will give to my bank. I will also give a copy of this authority to BSNL and tell them from now onwards you please collect it through notch. What BSNL will do? BSNL will have so many customers like me, thousands of customers. In each city they have millions of customers. So they will collect such a mandate from persons like me, various persons like me and BSNL, they will give it to, let us say, their bank is State Bank of India. All these uh, mandates collected, that list, uh, they will make a big list uh, along with a copy of the mandate, it will be handed over to State Bank of India, which is called here the sponsor bank. What State Bank of India will do is, they will collect the list. This list has to be collected on various dates, on 5th one set of uh, bills, one set of bills, on 7th another set of bills, on 10th third set of bills, like various dates they will have various bills. All these sets, uh, suppose on 5th, my payment has to be made on every 5th, on the 5th what this sponsor bank will do is, they will collect the list given by BSNL and forward the detailed list. In the list what it will be there, the name of the bank the name of the branch, the IFS code, my name, my account number all the, and the amount. The amount will be supplied by BSNL because they know every month what is the amount that I have to pay. All these details will be forwarded by sponsor bank to National Payment Corporation of India. National Payment Corporation of India, what it will do? This bill will have Punjab National Bank, Kanara Bank, all banks it will be here. So this will uh, parse it into various banks. They will they will classify separate separately. Punjab National Bank own list, uh, Indian Bank own list, Canara Bank own list. They will uh, distribute this according to the bank wise, and then send the list to the destination bank. 
in my case who is the destination bank in my case since i have given the mandate on indian bank indian bank will be the destination bank for another person the destination bank may be canara bank for a third person it may be some other bank so they will send this list to these banks and these banks what they will do they will debit the account because they have the customer's name customer's ifsc code which will identify the branch in which the account is there the account number the amount all the details are available it will be debited indian bank will debit my savings bank account suppose the bill is for 1100 rupees and then they will debit my account and like that they will be receiving a big list and all the list they will debit and then they will inform national payment corporation that payment has been debited to the account and they will remit the money to npci and that it will be going through clearing the money will be finally received by sponsor bank through clearing so this information will be transfer for informed to npci npci will inform this information back to sponsor bank like that every destination bank canara bank will inform then this is db3 destination bank 3 they will inform to npci npci will consolidate all these things and then inform to sponsor bank and sponsor bank will credit the entire amount to the account of bsnl okay who is the sponsor bank here sbi they will credit the amount to uh, the account of bsnl and inform bsnl and bsnl can track so what is the advantage for everybody bsnl they need not prepare a big list forward the bills to the customers and uh, you know wait for payment from them as far as the customers are concerned they the, all this uh, unnecessary going visiting the um, bsnl to deposit the check write a check then follow it up whether the check is collected all those uh, rigmarole are removed you give only one mandate uh, this mandate will be valid so long i continue to use bsnl telephone another 2 years or 5 years every month automatically the bill will be paid and i don't have to it is it is a kind of hassle free uh, situation for me i don't have to bother about paying the bill all i have to do is verify the bill once even and the bill copy is sent by bsnl what all i will do is i'll verify the bill is correct whether there is any wrong charges or anything like that if there is a wrong charge i will take it up with bsnl for refund if there is no wrong charge there is no problem it will be automatically debited in my account and the money will go to bsnl now suppose when the it reaches the destination bank there is no money in the account then it cannot be collected that fact also will be informed to npca npca will inform to sponsor bank sponsor bank in turn will say that is own so customers account has not been debited and money is not received then bsnl will take up the matter with the concerned subscriber so this is called a notch debit in this you can do electricity bill payment then lic premium so many monthly regular wherever you have to take monthly or quarterly regular payment this system is very ideal it is hassle free you don't have to remember the dates and do it it all will be done automatically let us see where notch credit is useful now i will tell again related to real life so that uh, you will make uh, meaning out of it see for example some big uh, uh, you know large corporates they have to pay dividends in those days before the era of notch debit ecs or notch debit or credit before this era what they used to do they used to print a large number of dividend warrants for example reliance company i have handled it in calcutta reliance company reliance used to issue dividend warrants all are for small amounts 15 rupees 85 rupees 90 rupees 86 rupees like that they will issue dividend warrants how many dividend warrants thousands and thousands of dividend warrants every day these dividend warrants used to come in clearing and every day this much one day in one branch this much of dividend warrant and this has to be totaled manually and adjusted for every pie and before you can do it next day another pay set will come i remember one there was a time when you used to keep the dividend warrants in seven bureaus seven godrej bureaus we used to keep it unadjusted 
and then it will take you know a set of people have to be employed and they have to sit and they have to do it manually adjust and then total amount has to be in debited to the account of reliance it is a very herculean task now how this happens under notch credit under notch credit what it will do the reliance will company suppose they want to give dividend warrant they will get from all their share all their shareholders the bank details where in which bank and which branch account number all these details they will collect and they will make one single check and they will give it to their bank for example reliance and company is one of the big corporates they will give to their sponsor bank they will give this list let us say here it is bank of baroda bank of baroda is the sponsor bank they will give the list big list they will produce along with a total payment entire money will be uh, one single check they will give then what bank of baroda will do it bank of baroda will debit their account with the total amount of the dividend warrants and then give the full details send the full details to npca npci will again reclassify it based on bank for each bank canara bank indian bank syndicate bank all bank bank wise bank of india like that each bank wise they will reclassify it and then send the full details electronically to these banks the core banking solution of the servers of these banks the core banking servers will credit the account holders in one single go and the amount will be credited at that second to the account of the account holders and the some message will be sent to the account holders this is by way of dividend warrant amount you have received from reliance and company and this will be done for all the banks in one day in one go the entire transaction running to thousands and thousands of dividend warrants will be credited to the account holder all account holders without any hassle mostly there will be no return in earlier when the uh, notch debit it is possible there may be some returns but very rarely here also return is possible why suppose the account is closed then the bank concerned bank will inform this to npca npca will inform to the sponsor bank sponsor bank will inform to reliance reliance will take up the matter directly settlement will happen through clearing between these banks because for each bank details are available with the national payment corporation of india settlement will happen behind the doors for which customers need not bother their uh, bother their head here by a single transaction in one day the entire amount will be credited all the um, account shareholders account will be credited on day and all are all small payment 100 rupees 250 rupees 353 rupees all this amount with to the paisa it will be credited in one account in one go so this is how notch credit is useful so we have got notch debit as well as notch credit now i want to tell you at this point of time reserve bank of india is embarking upon a totally new system of bill payment it is called bharat bill payment system which will cover all the bill payment through a holistic solution this national payment corporation of india has already started a trial run for this and once this comes it will be one of the biggest bill payment systems in the world we will see about this bharat bill payment system in our next lessons at appropriate place suffice for you to know at this point of time we are having on notch debit and notch credit which is very useful notch debit is useful for uh, making small payment telephone bills electricity bills water charges all these things can be paid with the customer very easily using notch debit and notch credit is for uh, for corporates and some um, government departments where they can make uh, periodic credits in a single go and 
both this bill payment, both debit and credit, it is going to be totally revolutionized by a new system that is going to come on which National Payment Corporation is doing trial runs and that is called Bharat Bill Payment System. They may ask you what is BBPS in the exam, you can write Bharat Bill Payment System.